Be right there. Good morning. Good morning. Lieutenant Stone. Homicide. Ed Hawkins, stamps. <laughs> hey, you did say homicide. James Sturdivant. Oh, yes, I read about him in the newspaper this morning. Awful. You did business with him? Of course. He was a very good customer. Several months ago, I offered him a lalier. What's a lalier? Well, a lalier album is the first album published for stamp collectors. It's rare, of course, but we run across one occasionally. What do you know about British Guianas? I can tell you I wish I had some. They're very expensive. As a matter of fact, last year I sold Sturdivant five of them. Now, these. They're the two-cent yellow issue. That was quite a coup for him. He already had five. It gave him ten in all. 1852 cent. $2,500 each? <laughs> That's correct. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to know how much the six cent... Ma Here it is. $300,000. That's its estimated value. Beautiful, isn't it? Looks like there's writing on it. Well, the 1850 series was initialed by the governor, or his subordinate in Georgetown. It's the capital of British Guiana. Well, why would it be worth $300,000? Oh, now, my goodness, Lieutenant, it's unique. It's the only one of its kind known to be in existence. From six cents to $300,000? Oh, come on, there's got to be something more. <laughs> well, yes, there is the, um, the mystery. You see, nobody really knows who owns it. Ever since its first discovery and sale, the various owners have elected to remain anonymous. Sometime in the 30s, President Roosevelt was supposed to have had it in his collection, but uh, he denied it. Well, princes and potentates would give their most valuable possession for the six cents magenta. Oh, among true philatelists, that stamp is like the Holy Grail. It's a real mystery. Well, it's not a real mystery anymore. It's murder. I don't understand. It looks as though whoever killed Mr. Sturdivant stole the six-cent magenta. Sturdivant? He had it? Are you sure? Well, we're checking it out. And you can do us a big favor by uh, keeping it under your hat. Might help us find the killer. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, if, uh, if I can help you in any other way, Lieutenant, you ju just call on me. I will. Thank you very much. You know, I learned something today. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hawkins, this way. There you are, Lieutenant. This is all very exciting. So glad you could come to help again. <laughs> Mr. Hawkins, you said a counterfeiter might use a bleach to reuse a stamp. What kind of bleach would he use? The same thing that ladies use on their hair, peroxide. I can't make this out. Do you mind taking a look? Oh, heavens no. I have a meeting with the coroner. If you need me, I'll be in his office. Thanks, Joe. 